What I'm doing right now is demonstrating the uh, effectiveness of, a, of an approach to making espresso on the Electra Microcasa Aleva. And uh, what it's to show is that uh, one doesn't need a 10-second uh, pre-infusion, 10-second or more pre-infusion, that um, is the norm with, uh, with the, the Microcasa um, uh, espresso making. Uh, process and it's one that most of uh, us owners have been taught to do. Now at the recommendation of, uh, of a reviewer on homebarista.com I've started to try something a little bit different. Now most of my uh, my technique and the, the, the things that I do in, in making an espresso are pretty much the same. I'm going to start by measuring a little less than 14 grams of beans. These are beans from 49th Parallel uh, Roasters in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. And uh, this is their Epic Espresso line. These beans are pretty fresh. They're about two weeks post-roast right now. They could be fresher, but this is to demo that also these aren't um, uh, outrageously fresh beans and that's not why the... so it's not the, the fact that the beans are Super fresh, and I'm getting the the results that I am. I'm going to grind these. And I'm grinding them in my Rocky, which I modded a little bit. I took the fork off the bottom. Um, at uh, what is for me about six notches above zero. I'm not sure how that correlates to other uh, other grinders, but for me that's what I found to be the sweet spot for this particular bean, and frankly for most beans that I use. So even though this is in a this Tupperware container, these uh, these these beans are freshly ground. I haven't been storing them in here. This is just so that I can take them to my portafilter in a relatively clean procedure. And I'm going to uh, not dose really high. I found that regardless of what bean I'm using, the Leva benefits from a little bit of underdosing, not a, not a, which is to say I don't want the grinds to heap up in the portafilter. And I'm going to try to use all of these. And I did. I'm going to do a light tamp to level as per, you know, pretty much any espresso machine. Give it a little polish. One tap. And uh, I'm one of the people who thinks that using a relatively rugged tamp on a, on a Leva is actually not a bad idea. So now we have the, the, uh, the, the pocket about, I'd say about a half inch below the rim of the, uh, the double filter. I'm going to lock and load and now what I'm going to do is where this procedure differs from what one often sees. The instructions um, that came with the Leva and one that most people most people use uh, is to pull the lever, push the lever down and hold it there for 10 seconds or until the first drops of espresso appear. I'm not going to do that. Instead I'm going to hold the lever down and count, and uh, not count, I'm sorry, and listen until I can hear the chamber full and then I will let the lever go. This is going to take about two or three seconds and this is what, we, what happens. And that's it, it's full. That was a little bit more than two or three seconds I realized. And we're getting some very nice espresso pouring through. I'm going to make this a little bit longer than a single. Let's say a, a short double by pulling the lever down almost as soon as the first, uh, the first few drops are extruded. And this is a, for, for my, ex with, with me, for me this is a fairly, fairly uh, fast pour. Now what we have is some really nice crema 
by Electra standards. It's not the kind of crema you'll get with the rotary or vibrational pump, but it's still some pretty nice crema. And we're getting a little bit of blonding with those last few drops, so I'm going to pull this away and show you that we're also getting some beautiful variegated uh, leopard spotting in the, uh, the resulting espresso. The, uh, the body, my experience has been, is going to be really good. This will probably a pretty, be a pretty hot shot because the machine was on for quite a while while I was waiting for, uh, while I was setting, setting up the camera and things like that. But uh, the, uh, from, uh, from the visuals, we can see that this is a pretty, pretty nice shot. And that's uh, what you uh, find with, uh, with a short pre-infuse on the Electra Leva. Try it at home. I know.